Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, narrated by yours truly, Descarender, and we're actually gonna keep going with LBA today, and today we're gonna watch three battles from a guy named Eric, also known as one of the funniest names probably in the LBA, of the Bristol Beedoofs. Yes, he has a Beedoof as a mascot, so that's, that's awesome, I mean, you can't go wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, Eric has a very, very pr nice drafted team, we're actually gonna look at his week two battles to start with, because his week first, his first week battle was really not that interesting. There was not a lot happening in that battle, so the second one is much more interesting, and you can see why. Because he is going up against one tough guy, and he's going up against um, Tampa Bay Thunders, and uh, as you guys can see, it's one <laughs> bulky team, and of course we have a lot of trappers here too. We got I think Mega Altaria. Tangrove, Slowbro, Jirashi, which is always a threat no matter what. And then we got Tornadus, and I can't recall that Psychic Pokemon's name, but it has Arena Trap or Shadow Tag, so that can be a very, very annoying, and especially since Eric actually have a generally bulky team. I mean, look at two of the TV we got. Registeel, Aromatis, and Cresselia, which definitely can't deal with that Psychic Pokemon <laughs> well at all. But then we got Manaphy and Crobat, which definitely stands out, and Jolteon, so we got fast hitters too. We also got defined slow attackers. And I wonder if it will go for a uh, Rock Police Registeel this battle. Actually, I shouldn't really talk too much about it. Uh, I do see him using Tornadoes as his lead, the Tampa guy or Geo, and Eric. I'm guessing he's just gonna go nuts. Uh, there is no like ramification for him starting with Jolteon and just setting up Volt Switches since they don't have a ground type or anything that really is resistant to that besides Altaria. Altaria. So, with all this my guys, let's go. Also, I'm drinking beer. I hope it's okay while I'm narrating. I know y'all don't see me, but damn, damn it's sweet. So anyway, Ruthless. Yeah, that's that guy. Na 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 na. Alright. Na 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 na. I see. Um, Guess that's kind of good. He could have hit him hard with a U-turn, um, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, I think this is a regular slow roll and not the Mega. I do believe Alterius is Mega Pokemon. Hmm. He gives a fairly good jolt on here. Yeah, it's exactly what it's going to do. And like I said, there is no ramification for going with full switches. While I do see Altera coming in here, um, he still gets the better switching. Actually gonna go to Tangrowth and he's just gonna throw the Thunderbolt. Ooh, oh yeah, that's a crit. Ooh, foo, foo, foo. Is it empowered eyes enough? It's enough. It's enough. Alright. Ooh, that's rough though. That's rough. So right, we're gonna go into the rockets. What can this guy really do? Yeah, Jolteon always packs Shadow Ball. Ooh. Talks. Ooh. Okay. You really want to hit Jolteon. You really don't want to try to stall it. Jolteon lacks defenses. Like, if you want to deal with the Jolteon, you really need to pack a punch on it. Not go for Toxics or Will O Wisp or anything like that. That's a bad play, sadly. And I'll wonder how we recover from that. So dead calm, Dalteria. Oh, there's a Volt Switch. We're waiting for that. And of course Altaria is now, it hits neutral due to the Dragon Flying, but that's gonna end. But I wonder if that's gonna end before... Actually not going to Registeel. Interesting. He is gonna make a Volt here. I wonder if he's gonna go for Tail Glow, um, the Mana Fee. What will Altaria do is the question. We're probably not gonna find out. How much will this do? Ooh. Oof. That's another crit. It's another crit! Wow! That's that's terrible. That's two great Pokemon out of way. So anyway, he is now trapped into this. But he's not gonna set up tail glows. Psychic does Ooh, wow, alright. So Skull is gonna bring it down pretty darn close to a kill here, and Psychic is gonna finish up the mana feed because it's locked. Um that was kind of rough, though. Hmm. <sighs> right, back to Crobat, and Crobat can yet again go for another U-turn. He's gonna stay in this time, though. Um, that's 
that's dangerous if it does impact your rest or anything like that. Because, alright, oh Gothitel, sorry. Because Gothitel was a major player in this match. So that was actually a tough call to make. Back to Thunderstruck to Jolteon. And now I do believe he has nothing that can really deal with this. His option is now out. Hmm. Alright, all day. Because this thing has regeneration naturally, but it doesn't really like the damage. No. It shoot out speed naturally. It doesn't do it against Jolteon. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. Hmm, he could pack the heat wave though. Ooh, yeah, nice call. Nice call by Tampa. Oh, but yeah, wow. That did very little. Is that a Solfest Registeel? I believe so. I am lying. Is it just fully defensive? Because that took that really well, like, extremely well. Alright, Toxic there, of course. And he exchanged a Thunder Wheel on Slowbro. Huh. I guess that could help. Um, but, um... Ooh, I wonder... Tampa's gonna have a rough time here. We are definitely, like, one-third into this battle, so... Something is going to work here. Something is going to work. So, Slowbro is... Hardwalling Registeel. I don't see Registeel really working besides the moves like Seismic Toss, if that's the case. Gonna go to Rockus back in. Of course, the Rachi. And now, of course, with the Paralyzation. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. He has sleep. Of course, he has to sleep. So, right, he got Toxic. Um, Stealth Rocks, Rest. And he had an attack move. I might have missed that. Let's see. Ooh, gonna sub. Alright. So, Yurashi can... I do believe Yurashi only have, like, um... It could have Fire Punch, maybe? But, rest of the stat moves is actually resisted. He has the Fire Punch. Now, how much will that do? Oof. Ah. Oh, damn. Registeel is just like, nah, uh Not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Right, that iron. No, I'm, I'm an idiot. I was gonna say Registeel on our head. So it's gonna go for some kind of slim shenanigans. There's a seismic task, like I said. Very likely that's what's his go to move just to get some damage output here. And um, it's not enough to break the sub. Ooh, Eric. You, you, you have to have a backup plan here. This, this is not gonna work. Or rather. They can't really hurt each other. They really can't hurt each other. Uh, I started getting why it is such a long battle after all. These guys insist on not switching out. They're both in a, well, a bad position. Right, Eric is actually gonna decide to switch out. Uh, I think he needs that. I think he is the only one with enough momentum to do so. Uh, there's Iron Head and... Uh, oh, Cresselia is just such a beast! <laughs> it's HP bar is not moving. It is not moving, folks. Right, there's not a sub. I wonder what it really can pack besides his own substitute. Oh, there God. The stall is on. So Eric switched from a stolly Pokemon to another stolly Pokemon. Genius. Genius. Hmm. So right, an Iron Head should not be enough. Um, I do believe so. Roll call. Ooh. Wow. I'm only gonna say this once. This is gonna get dangerous really fast. I don't see... I don't see the purpose of Jirachi either, like... He should have switched out before this, this thing sets up. They're both relying on actually being super, super stolly right now. And they're both insisting on not doing anything about it. And uh, there is a price to pay for that. And that is a slow-ass battle. Alright, he does pack the Shadow Ball. So he has some kind of mechanism to work this thing out. And I think something like that really needs to happen now. 
Um, your Roshi, like I said, it can't do much. It really can't. But it is an issue to take out in this kind of environment. It really is. Um, Alright, so that's Toxic. Like I said, Toxic is not the best moves on a Yurashi. It really isn't. So there's a Shadow Ball. I think it could take it out. No? I guess it's super special defensive in contrast with uh, this Cresselia not being really special attack invested. Um, that's what happens. Even after one Call Mine, it did roughly 25%. So that's bad. That's bad. Right gonna keep going on it. And you know, with leftovers and all, it's very likely that he could recover back on. But that is not gonna happen. I mean, 40% is just a number. It's. Oh, no. That is tough. Hirosh is not long for this battle after that. Wonder if he's gonna stay in, though. I wonder. Hmm. Tampa, you really need to step up your game here. You really need to step it up. Right, he's gonna keep going for that, those are heads. And he's not gonna get the flames. Like, those 40% are just BS as to right now. And that's. That's a Jirachi gone. Alright, finally. That's. That was freaking 16 turns, people. 16 turns of Jirachi. Splendid. Splendid. Alright. So, let's see. All day, of course, it's gonna come here. The ready. I was gonna say ready rock. Tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Tornadoes can't really do a whole lot here from this environment. I think our Tampa would just forfeit from here on out. There is really nothing can do now. I think you only got two Pokemon left. Of course, one of them in Tornadoes, the other one being the one that's kind of coming now. Which I can't recall for some reason. Sam! And that is the Slowbro, of course. Yeah. Hmm. It really is a slow ride. It really is a slow ride. <laughs> like I said before the team preview, it was really... Uh, the thing that stood out was the two bulky team. They had fast hitters, but... It doesn't really matter if you have fast hitter if your overall bulk is slow-ish. But I don't see none of them being able to play this thing differently. I think Eric got access to the likes of Conqueror and Exploud. Which could have sped up this battle, I do believe so, but uh, I think both these players have a very, very focused, tanky, tanky pokes, and it does pay off well in the leagues, or yeah, in the leagues, if, um, if you can pull that off in the long run. This is like a 30 turn battle, and um, I truly believe that the only way to survive that or rather to come far in this league is to just keep going for stalls. Ooh no! How cool was that? He stalled his regenerator. Oh shit. Now his slower switches out, it's not gonna recover. <laughs> Suck on that bro! <laughs> oh ho! Nice, nice Eric. Definitely a way to speed up the game. Definitely a way to speed up the game. Like I said previously, um, Eric is going to win it with a 5-0 easily. But he won by the both team being too stalled for their own good. Lacking the punch to break through. And of course, lacking any kind of substance to deal with the Jolteon is, well, a major deal really. Uh, re having a response like um, Tampa did here with Toxic on it is... It's not really worthwhile. He should definitely go for Fire Punch with Senate, but to break that off, Toxic was not the right response. And this is really why he lose. Um, and also, got to tell, was a major play to a lot of these Pokemons, and he just didn't do it. Got to tell is one of those great Toxic stallers, and he could Toxic stall, of course, the Cresselia, and actually only Cresselia, thinking about it. He couldn't do anything against the Ready Steel. Aromatids had aromatherapy, but he could take out the Cresselia with Arena Trap. But yeah, it is what it is. It is a 5 0 in Eric's favor, and he does win this battle fairly, even though he has some crits in his favor. It's still, for me, it felt like a battle that he should have won just by the team preview alone. Uh, he did get some momentum of the crits, like I said there. 
but I think he played aggressive enough. For him, it's such a solid team, he played aggressive enough to break through, and that is why he win. So anyway, that was his second week battle, and now we're gonna look at his third game against Verdlet.